Okay, hi Peter, this is how to make a dual axis map with no functioning maps in the background. So first of all we'll build the map similar to the one you've got of your scatters. So we'll just have the UK and I'll do sales and profit. Right, so there's your Barclays branch map. Now what we want to do is use a dual axis to create the outline of the country. So I'm going to press my control key and drag a new copy of latitude over. Right click on the new copy. Choose mark type, fill map. And I've now got two mark shape, two marks on here. So I've got a mark, oops. I've got a mark for each latitude thing. So the one I've just generated, I'm going to take state and place off so that I only have country. And I'm going to turn labels off. Oh, that's annoying. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm going to turn labels off. Turn off, you silly bugger. Okay, so you need... <laughs> Right, there you, okay, doesn't matter about the labels. What, what what you need to do, sorry, so you do your dual axis, and then you take, for the filled map, you take the measures off the colour and size shelf. So now I've got a grey colour, and I've got my other one there. Then I'm going to right click, do dual axis, and I've got my outline, but the, the maps are the outlines on top. So in, what I'm going to do is just drag the dots to the other side so that they come out on top. Uh, and then I'll just put a board around them so that it becomes a bit more effective. Uh, oh, oh. Well, so there you go. Uh, and then just to prove that I now have a map, I'll turn off all the map options. So there, for your demo, this will work. There's a downside in that the country has a tooltip on it. Uh, if you don't have country in your data set, then just create a calculated field called country and they just make it a string that is United Kingdom. So there you go, that's the end. Hope that helps.